Homeowner insurance here in the state of California is continuing to be a challenge as some companies are choosing not to write new policies at all. One of the biggest challenges we have is that the state of California actually has a policy where all insurance rate increases actually have to be approved by the insurance commissioner. This is showing up as an issue, but there are some solutions we'll be talking about this month. Hi, Josh Barker with Josh Barker Real Estate, and thank you for checking out our market update for the month of October, 2023. Like we like to do each month, let's go ahead and kick off this sales report by looking at the home inventory for the month of September. At the end of September, we finished at 753 properties for sale. That's actually down from the 839 that were available last year in the same month of September. That would mean that our absorption rate, that's the total homes that are available for sale, how many months would it take to sell them off? It would take 3.72 months to sell off the existing inventory if nothing else came for sale. Now, why is this important? Well, when you look at the absorption rate, zero to three months is what we typically would consider to be a seller's market. And then four to five months supply is typically what we consider to be a neutral market. And anything where the inventory's absorption rate is six months or more, it's typically a buyer's market. So right now we're at the tail end of a seller's market overall. We're transitioning into a neutral market, which is a good thing overall. We typically want to see the market in a neutral market, but not with sales volumes that are too low. So for the next point, we're going to bring this slide in for you. The total pendings in the months of September finished at 195. Now this is down from the 215 that were pending at the end of September of last year. Now we can see that over the next couple of months, we're going to see our inventories begin to trend down uh, in terms of number of homes selling. This has largely contributed to the interest rate environment that we are currently in. Uh, the next topic to look at is just that our homes that were sold in September. If we look at that, the total report finished at 178. Now this number is down compared to last year when we had 241 properties that had closed escrow in the month of September of last year. Now here's what's interesting. If we go back to 2021, there was 313 that closed in September. And if we go back to 2020, there was 350. So think about this, 350 units closed in September of 2020. Now in September of 2023, there's a total of 178, almost a 50% decrease in sales overall. Now those sales are, the reduction in sales has contributed to a few things, but the first one was it started to slow down when we had those pandemic related purchases slowing down. And that was in that first year after 2020. And so we started to see sales slowing down. The subsequent years of slowdown has really contributed to the higher interest rates. So for every 10%, or I should say, for every 1% the interest rate goes up, it has an impact on purchasing power by up to 10%. So if we go to the interest rate environment back in 2020, it was averaging around three and a quarter percent. If we look at the mortgage rates of today, it was around seven and a half percent. That's over a 40% impact on the purchasing buyer uh, power of the average buyer in the marketplace. And that's really why we're seeing our sales report show up with lower inventory because fewer sellers are wanting to bring their homes to the market. And we also have fewer sales because buyers simply just can't afford what they were able to afford about four years ago. And the next thing to look at is just the residential rental market. The rental market is actually reported to still be strong. However, short-term rentals right now we're starting to see some, some shakiness, if you will, with the demand. We're seeing that short-term rental rates are actually coming down a little bit. Um, we had some transitional housing situations where there was traveling nurses. Uh, there were some other uh, activity going on in the county where it was taking some of the short-term housing. Well, those things have kind of slowed down a little bit, and that's caused our rental short-term rental market to actually um, uh, reduce in the rental rates. Um, we suspect that some people might choose to transfer those short-term rentals to the long-term rental market, uh, which would be a good thing. Or some of them may choose to actually bring those to the market and that'll help to contribute to replenishing the housing supply. So in either case, we'll be having to watch that closely. Um, in the report, and you'll see this uh, on the side here, in the report, you're gonna see several other topics that we do cover this month. It's a pretty in-depth report. So take the time if you can to take a look at that. But if you have any other questions regarding real estate here in Shasta County, just know we're always here to help. Thank you again for taking your time with us today. Have a great start to October.